All right, so that's a 1997 Jeep Grand Cherokee 4x4 six cylinder. And I'm changing the oil filter housing gasket, which is this little guy right here. And I've already changed it. If you've gotten this far, then you know exactly what the information that you're looking for. But what I do have to say is I have seen videos and I've had a lot of people ask me, well, I changed the, how the filter housing gasket and a week or two later it started leaking again. Well, here is the reason why. On this, you have to pull it out of there. This is the T, this is actually a T60. There's wrong information out there on YouTube that it's a T55. You can use a T55 to get it started to loosen it. And um, you can even use a pair of vice grips, or not vice grips, but channel locks, bigger than this. This is, But you can use a pair of channel locks on the top side to just kind of work that loose. It spins inside there. But when you get that out and you pull it off, some people are only buying just that gasket to put on there. You don't want to do that. You want to change. You want to buy the full kit. And you want to change this gasket here, and you want to change that gasket here, which I've already done on this. This is the one that goes right here up top, and this one here goes at the base, and this one here goes around there. Now, I've already changed these, so once you do get that out, it's really easy to get it back in. Now, if you can't get this out, all you have to do is set it flat. This is why I like to leave the filter on. Set it flat, put your hand there, lightly tap on the end of this with a hammer, and it will go down and come out so that you can change those. Now if you're still getting leaks, it's only because those inside that shaft need to be changed. Now it's real easy to get back in. You'll hear it click. See it click, now it's back in and it's actually easy to turn. So again, you're gonna change this one, but also tap that out and change the two that are inside on that shaft. So the kit, is Felpro ES72962. It, you get this back in. There's another tick, uh, tri uh, trick. Use, sorry guys, um, use a serpentine belt tool. Now, a quality serpentine belt tool comes also with a half inch um, and the 3 eighths. This is the normal piece. But a quality one also comes with that piece. Now what you have to do is you get a T60 just like that. It will work, but once you get it tightened up. So once you get it tightened up, use this to tighten it. And then you get it to the block and you can't really move it anymore because you get into movement. This is too small. It's a T55. It takes a T60. Then you take this little guy, stick it on there, and give it a good snug, you know, snug uh, wrenching. So, again, if you're getting that, you just change this one and it starts leaking again, you're going to have to take it out and change the two on this spindle here. So, if you've gotten this far, I don't really need to go over and show you on the vehicle how to get this thing out. Um, that's general knowledge, actually, and it's all over YouTube. But the one thing I'm not seeing, I just took a quick search on YouTube myself and the one thing I'm not seeing is I think there was like two videos I saw where the guys are changing the complete thing but again just take this thing out look how easy it is I mean you really just gotta tap it or you can push it really hard and then once you have changed them just sometimes it's a little hard but you can get put right back in after you change them and then put it back on and uh, you're good to go so again, like, share, subscribe, and if you've gotten this far, you already know what I'm talking about. So I'm not going to do a whole video on how to do the process when there's so many of them out there. This, though, is information that you're not getting. So again, make sure you change those on that. You, you're not going to want to do this job again. It's not that hard, but it's not something you want to spend, you know, an hour and a half, two hours doing. All right, so again, like, share, subscribe, guys. We'll talk to you later.